Good morning, Legal Funnel members. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Thursday. All right, so today's topic is nine limiting beliefs that are holding lawyers back from succeeding with their law firm. If you guys join in, just uh, just say, just send a quick hi so I know you guys are watching. And it also helps with uh, with engagement to sh uh, for Facebook to be able to show it to more people. So just whenever you come in, just say hi. All right, uh, we have it's just a couple of announcements. We have 728 Facebook group members uh, every single day. We have new members growing. It's, it's so great to see it grow and continue to grow. There's a multiple channel sources where lawyers are finding us, and I'm so glad that you guys are finding us. A lot of, a lot of you guys also are finding us through our podcast. Uh, there was a couple of podcasts. I went on a kind of a podcast run uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, a lot of those listeners come back to us. If you guys are one of those people, hi and welcome. Um, we'll be having a, a wine and Zoom mixer uh, for lawyers. It's absolutely free f to join. It'll be a time for us to meet each other. A lot of times with these comments and messages, there's no, you know, the, there's just there's just a name to it. So if you want to attach a face to all those messages and comments inside of our Facebook group, come and meet each other. It's absolutely for free. It's only exclusively for lawyers. And it will be this Monday night at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in joining the uh, the one and zoom uh, one and zoom mixer on Monday night, please just uh, just say hey, I'm interested in joining the zoom mixer or the wine mixer, and I'll send you guys the link to join. Um, we'll be starting session three, Legal Funnel Live, our live coaching program for lawyers, um, next Tuesday. Um, we already we had 16 students enrolled in our session one. We had 27 students in session two, which we just finished uh, last week. And we already have 16 students who already enrolled in our session three. Um, it's the program is six weeks, six modules. Every Tuesday morning, we meet on Zoom, where I systematically teach how to be able to uh, use the funnel system to be able to generate clients online, and also a lot of principles about how to automate, uh, how to automate your law firm, how to scale out your law firm, how to get a lot of Google reviews, a lot of secret sauces that I only share inside of our Facebook, uh, inside of our Legal Funnel Live program. It's all shared there. If you're interested in joining. Just go to legalfunnel.com slash, uh, slash apply. There'll be a short application on the page. You'll either book a time with either like Kalinda or, or Ash. And then once you get on the call, we'll be able to tell you whether you'll be a good fit for a program. There's a lot of times where we, if you feel like we know we can't, uh, you know, for whatever reason, we cannot help you. We let you know upfront, you know, we don't want to waste anybody's time. We're only limiting it to 30 students. So if you're joining, we only have 14 more uh, spots left. Uh, they do get filled up even when we start the program and we start the sessions. Uh, students enroll and it does get fill up. So make sure to join, go to again, legalfunnel.com slash apply. We're also offering our early bird pricing and a fast action taker bonus to those who enroll uh, before Monday night, before this Monday night, upcoming Monday night, Ju June 22nd at 1159. So make sure to join before Monday night. And also just know, again, we'll be increasing the value, the investment to join our program. We've, we've been done, done that. I've already increased our price three times and I will continue to do so. This is now, we know the true value of our program and we're going to continuously do that so if you're interested in these concepts then definitely join all right so let's get to the topic today nine limiting beliefs that are holding lawyers back from succeeding with their law firm number one um you don't know what you don't know okay so it, this is this comes down to acceptance people that i see a lot of lawyers who don't accept that they don't know that they don't know how to apply technology how to how to uh, how to apply online marketing to be able to help them with their law firm so you just have to accept that you don't know. Um, it just comes from being humble. It doesn't matter how much you know. It doesn't matter how successful you are. You always have to be humble and be seeking more information. Be seeking other ways to be able to continue to grow. So continuous. The way I see growth is it's continuous. It's continuous daily micro improvements. That's what I call it. That's what I focus on. It's every day, every single day, micro improvements. And in order for that to happen, is you need to accept that you always don't know enough. So you always have to seek mentors guidance learn from people you know take courses do whatever you can and and that you can learn from and continue to grow and no matter what again that the big thing is no matter how successful you are even if you're 56 years old you know you have a thriving law firm you know you will get replaced by somebody younger somebody a little bit more savvy so you need to make sure that you stay on top of it and continue to uh, learn number two not not knowing your hourly value you need to you need to know your hourly rate to the dollar you need to the penny they give exactly how much you're worth so if you don't know how to do that, just to go calculate exactly how much you made money you made in 2019, your annual your annual income, divided by how many hours there are in, in a year, 
and you will know your hourly rate. You should know this to the T. If you don't know, you should know. Um, go calculate that, okay? Once you know that number, then uh, you should look to delegate as many tasks as you can and kind of evaluate what are those administrative tasks or what are those tasks that I could hand over to somebody else. Um, growth only comes from leverage, you know, leveraging time or money to be able to make more money. So it really comes down to exactly creating that baseline upfront, knowing exactly what, how much you're worth so that, so that you'd be able to easily and comfortably delegate out. So let's just say if I know my, I don't want to mention my own hourly rate, but let's just say if, if it's a hundred dollars, if it's a hundred dollars, then in theory, I'm very comfortable paying somebody $50 an hour to take off something that I would have done myself for hundred dollars an hour. And that's called leverage. So know your hourly uh, value. Number two, uh, number three, and not investing in yourself. And uh, the best way to make money is to invest your money, right? The, the best way to make money, uh, spend money to make money. And there's no better investment than the investment you make in yourself. Uh, Warren Buffett says it, every, every successful person says this, you know, the best is like, what's the best investment? They always ask them. It's investment in yourself. So if there's courses, if there's programs, if there's anything that helps you become a better version of yourself, that should be your number one uh, investment that you should do first do that before you get into stocks before you get into anything else you know stocks and real estate all those things are are okay they give you, you know 10 percent max 30 percent but investments in yourself gives you three through five hundred percent sometimes even thousands of percentage roi so invest in yourself number four um a limiting belief is the fear of technology uh this this holds a lot of uh a little bit a uh, little bit more elder lawyers back and it, it, I really do feel it that it's a limiting belief. A lot of times we place those limiting beliefs on ourselves. We just accept that we're not good in technology and we don't take on those opportunities that technology brings us. So um, there's a lot of how to's. First of all, if you're stuck with anything, you just have to search for exactly that on Google or on YouTube. I had this issue growing up with my mom every time. Like there, I was always like a little bit more computer savvy. My mom would be like, hey, how do you do this? I'm like, I'll just be like, Google it or YouTube it. So that's the same idea. So um, there's always how-to instructions online. Just have to be able to uh, know how to be resourceful and don't think of yourself as that you're not technical enough. No, you are. Um, and also what you can, other thing you can do is surround yourself with other people who are technical that you could learn from or you could ask them to help you. Number five, uh, wasting time doing things manually than, uh, than automating. This is huge. If you're doing things, if you're doing the repetitive tasks over and over, then I could promise you that, that there's a technology out there, there's an online tool out there that could automate that process for you. And we go really, we in our in our Legal Fund of Life program, I'm all about automation. I'm all about using technology. I'm all about using online tools to be able to uh, take away those manual tasks away from you. Anything that's repetitive, I don't want to do, and I, I don't want you guys to do the same thing. So automation, um, follow-ups, anything that's manually done could be systematically made so that uh, that uh, technology takes that off your hands and we go into, in, inside uh, in, in our program we, we talk in detail about that number six um, limiting yourself to, to a physical location to a physical office to a physical city you're not tied to that um, what I teach inside of our program is you're you can run your law firm completely virtually but you know by having the right uh, right systems in place and having your virtual teams you'll be able to it's completely possible and completely viable to run your law firm remotely and virtually. So don't think you're you're tied to any physical, uh, you know, office location or physical uh, city location. I systematically, you know, had this idea five years ago when I started. I always had dreams to, you know, move to Israel. You know, I love the country of Israel, and I didn't want to be tied to LA. If you know, I don't want to be stuck in Los Angeles for the rest of my life. If I, you know, want to take my family to Israel, live there for, you know, for a couple of months, or maybe live there forever. I want to have the freedom to be able to do that, okay? So I'm not tied to any physical location. And you guys should be, you know, have the same mindset too, if you guys, if that's what your lifestyle is. Uh, number seven is the do do it myself syndrome. This is probably the number one syndrome that lawyers have is, uh, that most people have is, you know, thinking that everything is up to you. No, uh, instead seek out other people who can help you. Um, figuring out yourself is possible, but but why waste? when it's possible to figure out uh, figure out in weeks and months. So um, things that you know that you're stuck on, you know, just don't don't depend on just yourself to figure it out. Go find the right people who can help you with it. Number eight, short term versus long term mindset. Um, obviously very um, another something that's very, very common is 
uh, thinking very short-sighted, you know, expecting sh uh, results fast without putting in the work, without having a long-term mindset. Results usually comes um, as a result of, of doing your work. So uh, what I mean by that, let me rephrase. Result usually comes after your work. So that usually lags behind your actions. So what do I do now? I usually expect that results to come in six to 12 months. Okay, so my actions, I focus on my daily actions, but my results, I don't focus on it at all. I don't have any expectations. I kind of play a robot and I let go of those emotions. I don't expect any results until six to 12 months. These videos and things that I do, you know, great, it's fun, it's good for me. I also know that the value of these value uh, of these videos will be posted on YouTube, will be posted on Facebook, will be posted on Instagram. Those uh, those videos will exist online for many many years to come, and I will get those results of these videos to come for many years. So you need to have the same mindset, especially when it comes to these systems. Is that you gotta kind of focus on it, put in work, and then have a long term mindset and expect those uh, those results to come uh, in long term. And number nine, and not being clear on your why. The why really matters, your why, W-H-Y. Um, you wanna, this is one of the first things we do in our side of our program, is we need to understand your why. Why are you taking the actions that you take every day? You know, why do you wanna have a successful law firm? Why do you wanna be a better person? You need, to, you need to always start off with your why. Once you know your why, then the what becomes much easier. So always start off with your why. There's an amazing book on this called, I believe, Start With Your Why, which is all about that. Um, so, you know, understand exactly what your desires are and what your why, uh, why is so that it will make the what much easier. Two other bonuses um, that, by the way, a lot of these ideas, uh, Kalinda and Ash, thank you so much for bringing a lot of these ideas um, of sharing those with me. But let me give you guys two other bonuses. Um, bonus number one is waiting on the phone to ring with referrals rather than understanding how to help your clients find you online. Yes. <laughs> So old school way, you know, the traditional method, um, you know, old school marketing, um, not scalable, you know, newsletter, you know, newsletters, ma mailers, uh, referral sources. If you if you like if you want your law firm to, you know, uh, to be slow and steady and grow that way, by all means, that's fine. But if you want to grow fast, um, if you want to succeed, you know, if you want to have the life that's comfortable for you in the near future is you need to work on systems that are scalable, you know, that reach hundreds and thousands of people um, and use the power of online to be able to do that. And number two uh, bonus is fo uh, focusing on problems rather than solutions. So if, and instead of, you know, focusing on those problems, you know, always have the solution mindset. What's, okay, I'm stuck at this. I'm not gonna focus on the problem. What is the solution to this? Who can I get to help me? How can I get, get uh, resolve this problem? You know, having that, uh, solution-based business. So, so, so to summarize again, number one, uh, you don't know what you don't know, just accepting that you don't know. Number two, not knowing your hourly rate. Make sure to calculate your hourly rate to the T so that you know exactly how much your hourly rate is. That way, you'll be really comfortable dealing it out, delegating it out as much as possible. Number three is not investing in yourself. The best investment you can make is in yourself. Number four is fear of technology. You know, don't let, you know, don't, don't those Call yourself, hey, I'm not good with tech. Don't take, remove that language from your from your vocabulary. Number five is wasting time doing things manually when it could be done with technology and automation. Number six is limiting yourself, to, uh, feeling like you're limited to a physical location or physical office or physical city. No, not, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, number seven is doing myself uh, syndrome, which I see a lot of lawyers that don't grow. You know, they're stuck as a solo lawyer. You know, they don't trust handing off and delegating. I actually had a conversation with a lawyer yesterday who literally said that. I like, I don't trust, I don't trust anybody to be able to do it. Um, not a good mindset. Nobody's going to do it as well as you. Nobody's going to care as much as you. Even if they do, you know, 60%, 80% as good as you, that's good enough. Even even sometimes even 40%. So, and that all goes back to knowing your hourly rate. Number eight, short term versus long term mindset. Obviously, it pays off to have a long term mindset. And number nine, focusing on your why before you get to the what. All right. Hope you guys got a lot of value from this. Um, let me also review some of the questions that you guys uh, uh, that you guys posted. Um, Yana says volume is a little bit low. Yeah, Yana says uh, the volume. Hopefully, the volume is good. I didn't, I didn't, see, I didn't see your comment until now. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, Kalinda, thank you for your good uh, mindset. Uh, thank you for your good comments. Tom, welcome to Legal Funnel, in our Facebook group. I met Tom. We had a little audio. Uh, I think I sent you audio yesterday. Uh, welcome. 
And I hope you guys got a lot of value from this. If any questions comes up, please just post it. I'll be answering it throughout the day. And if there's any limiting beliefs that are holding you back, share it with our comment below. Um, you know, by sharing it, it, it helps you kind of address it and it be, kind of brings it top of mind so that you'll be able to resolve it over time. Share that with us. Uh, we're here for you. We're here to support you. Again, just to, uh, just to recap the announcements also, we'll be having a, a, a Wine and Zoom mixer for our Facebook group members. Uh, for uh, for free, exclusively for lawyers on Monday night at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in joining, just say, hey, I want to join the Mixer. Um, so I can send you the link. And also, we'll be starting a Legal Funnel Live, our live coaching program, Session 3, on Tuesday. If you'd like to join, just make sure to get in before Monday night. Go to legalfunnel.com slash apply and fill out that short application. Just make sure to, again, take that action before Monday. Um, before Monday night and we're limiting to 30 students. We already have 16 students enrolled and we're looking to fill up the last 14 seats. All right, anything comes up, uh, just comment it below and just if you, you guys got value from this, just, just say, hey Sam, thank you or something. Just give a comment and a like, I would really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. And Bethany, yes, we'll see you soon Bethany on, on Tuesday, bye.